Well, hello, I'm John Ross, and welcome back to Creating with John Ross. If this is your first time with us, I would like to encourage you to get out your paint and paintbrush and create along with us. I promise you, you can paint as well as I can. We're gonna be using about 11 or 28 different colors to paint, to do a happy little sea painting. We're gonna take a yellow and a green, along with some blue, and maybe a tad of magenta and sepia. Let's also put a hair of fuchsia and just a wisp of umber. Don't you just love umber? I sure do. When we mix all those paints together, we get a beautiful and cheerful black color, a color that's happy to see you and gives you a hug. If you want, you can just use a normal black paint. <laughs> Now, as we start this little sea painting, we want to be able to capture the power and raw nature of the sea, but at the same time, make the sea approachable and friendly. Why don't we give the sea a happy little wave? That's it. Nothing too scary or over the top. Just something to help capture the mood of the sea. Now let's add some blue. You can't do a little sea painting without blue. Oh, you're painting a sea, huh? Yes. <laughs> would you like to see the sea? I would love to see the sea. Okay. That's a happy little sea. Sea. That's yes in Spanish. I get it, I get it. <laughs> I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the, the So and So Show. We're so glad you decided to hang out with us today. <gasps> Did you know that more people have walked on the moon than have been to the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean? I did. Well, yeah, me too. I anyway, John and I were trying to decide. Oh, oh, did, did you finish. know that if you put Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the peak would still be more than a mile underwater. Yes, yeah, I think I did know that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you also know Why that- Why are you reading the encyclopedia? Well, I mean, you know how we were trying to decide if we should you know, record an episode of the So-and-So Show at the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. Well, I was trying to do some research on whether or not that would be a wise idea. Yeah, but aren't encyclopedias usually out of date? Actually, this one's from this year. Really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know they still made them because of you know, the internet. <laughs> I still make these. I get a new set every year. You actually buy it. Anyway, these? did you know that the pressure pushing down on you at the bottom of the Mariana Trench would be like 50 jumbo jets sitting on top of you? No. Really? <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, me either. And there's also sea cucumbers that live down there. What? Yeah. I can't stand cucumbers. Me either, sea or land. That settles it. After looking at all the facts and this new information, I think the wise thing to do would be to not record an episode of the show at the bottom of the ocean. I agree. <laughs> Congratulations, Brandon and John, hosts of the So-and-So Show. With your most recent wise choice, you have finally achieved 100% wisdom. What? Oh! Wow! Oh! <laughs> <Wow. laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is so unexpected, 100% wisdom. Yeah, I, I don't even know where to begin. Thank you so much. Uh, growing in wisdom has always been the goal. Yeah. And I, I think that we have tried to... Oh, 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 thank you to everyone who ever taught us anything. Thank you to... Uh, uh, oh, my encyclopedia. To John's encyclopedias, yeah. my teachers, yeah. uh, my small group yeah. leaders. We made it, baby! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the bear's waving us up. Yay! A hundred percent wisdom. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, no, apparently so. <laughs> We've grown as wise as one can grow. Yeah. So what are you gonna do now? Well, John, now that I don't have to search for wisdom anymore, I can search for things with absolutely no value whatsoever. Huh. Oh, look, here's a video called 101 Armpit Noises. 
<laughs> yeah. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and since I don't have to be wise anymore, I can eat whatever I want. Yeah, peanut butter oh. and pickles. Oh. Woohoo! So much fun. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't mind if I do. Oh, go on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Congratulations, John. No, congratulations to you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Wait! What just happened? Why did we lose our trophies? Maybe we lost our wisdom. Can that happen? I don't know. But I know someone who might. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh yeah. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey Kellen. Kellen. Did you really think you had gained all wisdom? Well, there's this really cool uh, announcer. Yeah, and, tr and the trophies. Lights. I think you might need to hear a Bible story. I think you're right. Take it away, Kellen. Today, we're looking at a verse from the book of Romans, which originally was a letter written by a guy named Paul. Now, Paul went from being someone who tried to arrest Jesus followers to being a Jesus follower himself so he knew a little something about growing in wisdom. Here's what Paul wrote. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. So think about how this world lives. The things we see on TV, the internet, the people we're around, even the music we listen to are all trying to get us to see things in a certain way. Sometimes they're trying to convince us to do things that aren't wise. Paul wrote that we shouldn't go along with the world. Sounds simple enough, but is it? Let's find out with our friends, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Ah, there's nothing like being out in the park, enjoying the nice warm sunshine. Don't you think so, Count? Ugh, the sunshine makes me soft and squishy, Mr. Fritter. <sighs> Ugh, and a little ripe. <laughs> hey. Isn't that the Tangelo kids? Caught it, Tabby. I'm recording, Terry. Make sure you go fast. Rudy Vega did it, but he was slow as a turnip. If you want views on Fruit Tube, you gotta fly down. Oh, okay. I'm not sure they should be doing that. It looks dangerous. Uh, don't be such a Granny Smith, Mr. Fritter. They're just cuties, after all. Besides, everyone is doing it. Terry, Tabby, I don't think that's a very good idea. Here it goes. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Ouch. Get this too. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. But that's what happens when you do something just because everyone else is doing it. You can get hurt in a lot of different ways. Paul wrote that you should let your way of thinking be completely changed. Instead of following the world, you should follow Jesus. And Jesus will help you change the way you think and the way you act. Here's what Paul wrote next. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you, and you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. When Jesus helps you change the way you think and act, you'll actually see the benefits of those changes made in your life. You'll see how good and perfect God's plan is. Okay, let's check in again with Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Well, hopefully you and the Tangelos have learned your lessons. I have, Mr. Fritter. No more dangerous death-defying deeds of daring do for me. I think that's wise. Unless it gets me a lot of likes. What was that last part, Count? 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 Oh dear. You know, Tabby, I don't think this is a good idea. Don't you remember what happened last time? Maybe you're right. Fruit Tube is fun and all, but I just, I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Stand back, I am here. We are go for lunch, Bert. Okay, here goes. 100 views on Fruit Tube. 
Here I go! Looks like Count Lupe still has some growing to do. Medic! Oh dear. Mr. Fritter's right. Count Lupe does have some growing up to do. And that goes for all of us. We should never stop wanting to learn and grow in wisdom. God wants what's best for us and doesn't want to see us get hurt. Wow. Hey, thanks, Kellen. I think we needed that. So we're never going to reach 100% wisdom because I really wanted that trophy. Wisdom takes time, your whole life even. Remember, even Jesus grew wiser as he grew up. It's the way God made us. <laughs> oh, that's right. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you next time. You know, I can't believe the first thing I wanted to do when I thought I was full of wisdom was eat junk food. Yeah, I wanted to listen to armpit noises. <laughs> I can't decide which one is worse. Armpit noises. Yeah, the armpit definitely. thing. No, you're right. Yeah. Hey, reveal the question. <laughs> oh, how are you wiser than you used to be? Yeah. Wow, this answer could go on forever. Really? I got nothing. What? Just <laughs> Kidding. Oh man, I gotta list this long. I'll go first. I used to make decisions without thinking. Like I once tried to run a 5K without training first. Did not go well. But now I think before I act. <laughs> For me, I've learned to think before I speak. A long time ago, I told a friend that she was a bad singer. I wasn't even thinking about how that might make her feel. I was just giving my honest opinion. That's brutal. I know, it wasn't really well thought out. I've learned to be a little more gentle with my honesty. Plus, plus turns out she wasn't a bad singer. She was really good. I, she, she just had a bad cold when I heard her. Man, wisdom is a journey. Very true. Hey, talk about it together. How are you wiser than you used to be? And we'll see you next week for a brand new show. Yeah. Right here on our show. Do you have any more of those pickles with peanut butter? I don't. Oh, you ate them all? I did. It sounds like you're just painting like lines. That's just your wrists. Sorry. Uh, oh, I, I can't stay like that any longer. Can I all see? All right. I think you're going to be very happy okay. with it. Okay. It looks just like you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. See? There's your nose. There's your eye. And there's your wings. I love it. Thank you. I call it Portrait of a Bird. Thanks for keeping me company, though. <laughs> <laughs>